There are millions of asteroids in our solar system. Most are only a few inches across, but some are enormous. And if they hit Earth, the effect can be catastrophic. In 1998, NASA launched a probe to study one of these potential Earth impactors. This asteroid, named Eros, is 20 miles long and maybe five miles across and is much more massive than the asteroid that we believe hit 65 million years ago to kill off the dinosaurs. So if this were to hit, it would be like 10 of those asteroid hits all at once, and it would be extremely devastating. This asteroid is what we call a near-Earth asteroid, and what that means is it goes around the Sun in an orbit somewhat like the Earth's orbit. Sometimes it gets out toward the asteroid belt, but at other times it comes pretty close to the Earth. So we launched a, a, a rocket into space with instruments to study this asteroid. This was called the Near-Earth Asteroid Rendezvous Mission. After a couple of years, the spacecraft was approaching the asteroid and supposed to go into orbit around it, and the burn didn't work right. So we took a few pictures and the spacecraft sailed off again, <laughs> but it turned out that the spacecraft trajectory brought it back about a year later, and then it went into orbit. Landing on the asteroid was regarded as, as very risky. NASA had had a few disasters in previous years and didn't want to look bad, and it wasn't part of the mission to land on, on the asteroid. The instruments were designed to observe the asteroid from a distance, but the plucky guy in charge of the mission at the time decided he'd land it anyway. The gravity is very small here, so the spacecraft came down slowly, and even though it didn't have any designed feet, like normal spacecraft do that are supposed to land on Mars or something, it ultimately landed on the surface of the asteroid, which was a first ever. It did just fine, it survived. Some of the instruments kept measuring for months. The data obtained from the mission is used to help understand characteristics of asteroids in general, so that in the future, we might be able to avoid a disastrous impact with a large asteroid.